Hello everybody and welcome to this video series where we introduce third-party application for your Mac. Uh, for this particular episode, we're going to talk about how you're going to burn a CD with your Mac. Now, OS X built-in allows you to create and burn CDs. Of course, you need to make sure that your Mac has a supported optical drive or you purchase an Apple external optical drive that allows you to burn CDs. But what if you want more control of what you can burn? Maybe you want to burn something else. You want to see the file system. Something like how you can burn CDs back in old Windows, perhaps. Well, we got a free open source tool that will be quite suitable. Again, as a disclaimer, this is a third-party application, so use it at your own risk. So having said that, let's get started. So let's get the software first. You can get the software for burn from the website, burn dash OS 10 dot sourceforge on that. Again, it's a free and open source software. You can use Google to search for it. And this allows you to burn CDs, DVDs in a very, very simple pattern. Not Nothing fancy of it, very straightforward. So when you download it, it comes in a very simple zip file that you unzip as a folder. So this is the application. As with any type of application you download that's not from a Mac App Store, you have to drag and drop it into your applications folder. Once you have it, you can then drag the icon to your dock so you can use it. Now, to launch it, just click on it. If you face a problem where it's verifying and it says that it is not a verified or identified developer, right click on it and open it. Open it. and you have the application right over here. So as you can see, a very simple interface. And this allows you to select what kind of CD type that you want to burn or DVD type you want to burn. Uh, usually, you always set it as a PC Joliet, which works on both Windows and Mac. So you can just say that this is my data DVD, and you can create folders in here. So one folder for my files, one folder for anything that you need. So I'll create the one, or you can add others, so let's say I want to add all my files from my downloads, for example. So let's say I download, select all of this, create a, this. So all this with the files I'm going to add to this DVD, and I click on burn. If you have connected a compatible recorder, in this case I do not have a DVD drive on my MacBook Air, well obviously it won't work. All you need to do is just get an Apple DVD external drive, or any drive that you might have. Plug it in, and you're off. Now, burn is not only just about burning data. From the same interface, you can actually burn an audio CD, MP3 CD, or even DVD audio. Also from the same interface, you get to do old-fashioned VCDs or even DVD videos. Just put the video in it and let it do the burn. You can even copy your own data CDs. Again, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we do not support piracy over here. So burn is a very simple tool that you can use for your Mac if you really need to burn CDs or DVDs.